Hello dear students, welcome to the lecture 8 of Introduction to Programming 2 with C-Sharp course as known as also Advanced Programming. So today we are going to continue from where we have left with our patient management system software development. I will start with duplicating the previous lecture source code as usual. Okay, and let's duplicate it. Alright, let's start the application. So if you remember, we have a table of such to have drugs, prescriptions, treatments, users, user types, diseases, and such. And in the previous lecture, we have completed registration and login and logout. So now we can start adding prescriptions and other things to our software. Okay. So let's start with renaming our lectures. This does not rename everything, but still better than nothing. Okay. Okay, let's run our application to remember the interface and then we can continue programming our patient management system application. All right, it is getting opened. Okay, it is taking a bit of time since the first time starting. All right, application is starting. Okay, so this was our register interface and this was our login interface. And when we log in, let's check our users table to see some emails. When we log in, it should disable register and login tabs. However, we I don't know if we had coded them yet. Yeah, we have coded them. Okay, so these tabs are disabled. I should also clear these, but it is up to you. You can clear it or not and login button should also be disabled logically logout button should only be appearing let's also disable login button as well so how are we gonna do it we are going to change login button status where was it here what we are going to do is we will simply get this code and get okay why it okay okay btn login yeah we will just change the login to opposite of I mean the enable status of login to opposite of. So everything is fine. Yes, now we can start coding our logout in operations. What kind of operations we would expect? We would expect a interface to add drugs and interface to add prescriptions and treatments, perhaps an interface to modify users. It is like an admin panel. So I will start with adding a drugs interface. So let's edit after the login. Here I'm going to just copy and paste this code to here. And tab item. And it will be tab drugs. Let's make the header as drugs. Okay. So on this interface, we should have... Actually, we can have a single interface as well. Yeah. Let's use a data grid. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to add a data grid. Currently, it is taking the full space. So let's change the dimensions a little bit. Perhaps something like this. Okay, so we can have several buttons such as refresh, load, save and such. Actually, I will add a refresh button. Okay, refresh, refresh drugs list. Okay, this will be a refresh button and we will also have a save button. So let's start coding the refresh button. BTN refresh drugs. All right. Uh, as I have mentioned previously, I want to minimize the code that I write in main window class. Therefore, I am going to add another class as logout in operations. Let's add it to our project. I don't need any template for this, but let's see. Add class. Let's name it as here. Okay, I'm going to name it as logout in operations. It will be a public class. All right. I don't even need try. So I have to give a name to this data grid so that I can access it. Name will be DT or data grid drugs. Okay. This will call here static void refresh drugs data grid okay what this is going to do is it will get the data from database and bind it to drugs data grid so in order to do that i am going to define a private static context of my tbl how should i make it here yeah. tbl drug drugs data 
Okay, we are going to use using. So what was our context? It was let's get it from somewhere here. Perhaps yeah, let's get it from. Okay, I have remembered it. So it will be PMX context. But maybe I need a different context for this. Yeah, yeah, this wouldn't work. Probably I need a PMX context for drugs data. I have to initialize it and use it. So if drugs data is equal to null. We are going to make a drug data in PMX context. Okay, uh, this way we will have it initialized. Okay, actually I can initialize it here as well. Okay, what this is going to do is from global methods we have main and from there we are going to have get data grid drugs binding or source item source yeah get or set a collection user to generate the context of the system windows control item control equal to drugs data dot tbl drugs dot select so this will select everything therefore i will just pick a top 100 how am i going to do that this select requires a selector we need to use take yeah 100 we should order them by order by here here that drug id okay this will be ordering them by drug id ascending and this will be the item source okay so let's test whether it is working or not and then we can continue so this will be inside login and operations refresh data drugs data grid okay drugs should be disabled but it is not yet uh, because we are just doing test populate a db set the with data for example point load on db set then bind to local data what we need to search is this one i have done this in another project so maybe we should check it there yeah why should we research it okay we use load after loading that we use local to binding list okay so this is the way it is now remember so take and load take order by then load okay after that we are going to use this as equal to okay drugs data tbl drugs local to binding list yeah yes take order by maybe we need to order by like this then take then no okay there is no load or something why there is no load because probably it was acquiring a reference let's see yeah we need to add using the first of entity framework course it will come here yes this is it so let's add a note okay now it should work let's retry why we are making it this way is when we make changes we want it to automatically save it back to database we could do it manually for scanning grid and getting every change but we don't want that okay so you see it also shows empty rows tables as well you see now i am adding a new drug by the way it is let's see it is identity or not it is primary key but it is yes it is also identity therefore i won't be touching this those milligram 25 and tbl prescriptions okay so why do we have that in the list because it is bound to that after i have made these changes i need to save so when i refresh it, is it edit probably not but let's check yeah when i refresh the table it is keeping that it is not removing the non-existing bars maybe we need to do a refresh of items how are we gonna do that items refresh i also need to hide a data column which is columns which column is that as tbl prescriptions visibility will be equal to hidden yeah we don't need that okay, it requires uh, okay so we have to set it with so let's look for another way for each columns this is expecting this is expecting an integer index maybe there is a better way yeah so the better way would be getting this number dynamically count and if okay columns i to string equal to okay tv and prescriptions we will just hide okay and then why i am doing this way so if i add more columns to the drugs table i wouldn't be need to change this code okay this provides me more flexibility and more freedom 
easier to manage code. Okay, so when I make a change to my table, I won't be needed to change this code again. So I will just hide that column because we don't need that. Refresh. Okay, I see. So it didn't match because its first letter is bigger. Therefore, I will make it as to string and to lower invariant is equal to TPL prescriptions to lower invariant. Yeah, now it should work. So this will prevent non-matching string comparison. Oh, it is again here. So let's debug and see why not working okay columns it has four columns okay there is some more information maybe column name or something okay there is header yeah we have to check the header you see why it is important to do debug because we have to check headers okay now they can match yeah let's retry okay you see now it is working let's add save button as well so we will be able to modify add delete remove drugs as we want we also need to add a delete button as well yeah how are we gonna do it so let's add a button here to save them you can save save drugs changes or updates let's say and it will be like this okay we also need to a way to delete them how can we do that i think we can add a button to data grid how can we do it let's check it on the google this button will let us delete a record but we also need to have we need to add it to each row add column of top data grid give button column okay we need to check it for vpf because it may be different on windows forms no this is not the way we want okay uh later dynamic okay this is the question that we are asking okay um, okay this looks like a good solution so let's check it out so after we set it data grid text column where is this called property hmm, this is the name so the name will be delete okay and let's see what we need we need windows controls we need windows data windows documents interesting and column property here we also need a plus event for it will be equal to top not button click but let's say delete row okay and yeah and content will be delete and i don't know if this will work or not we may need to uh, make some try so here i am trying to add a button to each row so that we can easily delete them we can update them already with changing data and with this way we can delete them so refresh okay delete or edit only here not here so it was supposed to be here uh, but it is not we haven't coded the save button yet we have to first code it so it, so let's try the public stack void save changes it will save the context changes like this save changes okay and we will call it as uh, save changes or say save drug changes okay and logot in operations save drug changes let's first try whether our change is working or not then we can work on the delete button we can also add another text box and force user to type id of the drug to delete it but we can also add easier way so that's what i am working on let's add 100 okay drop one okay let's save drug and let's see okay it is added refresh refresh working you see id has arrived let's 200 drop two okay and save let's see okay let's refresh refresh working but these values are not getting updated our local data is not getting refreshed let's check it out our best option is refreshing the context like this each time then we just need to nullify item source or we don't probably even need that we just need refresh here let's retry so each time when we hit refresh button we are going to recompose the context so the local cage will be also deleted however i have to do it at the beginning of course here this will refresh local data and then only thing left is adding a button to our data grid okay let's change this refresh 
yes this time it is fixed however we still can't add a button to record so that is the next thing that we have to solve okay let's go with the basic and simpler way so instead of having button to in each data row i will just add additional text box and a button to delete them so one moment why do we have that here so let's make it that way maybe i could find a solution but it's taking too much time therefore let's add a text box and yeah where did our design go okay so let's add it here okay and then it will have the id of drug for deleting let's add a label this is the simpler way a more complex and better way could be found for example if i were doing this project i would ask on stack overflow whether it is possible or not but currently i don't want to spend more time so i will just go with this easier way drag id it will be txt drag id and then i will have delete okay but i will also add a warning message to this button we can also make it something like delete selected yeah maybe that would be better let's make it that way not this way but okay let's make it as delete selected drag this is a more appropriate way instead of adding a button to each element we will make sure that the user selected that and then they can click okay btn delete selected drag okay so we also need an on click element event i mean okay this will simply call delete selected drag and let's compose that event on here so simply this will delete the selected row we will use main dot actually global dot main data grid drag selected item and it will just simply remove it but not that is enough then we need to call save drug changes and then we need to call refresh here so first we will save then we will refresh okay and but we can still let user to delete yes that may be better not just save it let user to decide whether save or not we also need to hide our column again uh, since we have removed these columns and then if columns header to string that the lower invariant is equal to world descriptions okay and a visible count we will just visibility set hidden okay and run the application and let's see if our saving adding and deleting works okay oh we need to set to binding list we have forgotten that binding list like this and yeah complete it okay refresh yes but tbl prescription still there probably we have yeah tbl prescriptions let's restart you see it also shows an additional empty row so that we can add new records uh, that is why there is additional row all of this could be done with low level programming as well and it would provide us more flexibility but with easiness we lose some flexibility so let's change this as drug tree and let's save changes and then refresh and refresh again yes it is saved so let's also check in our database it is here let's delete this record by the way there is also additional column here i don't know why there is we can also check that let's select the deleted rock okay operation is not valid why item source in use hmm. so how to delete it we need to delete it from item source so we need to delete the item from our local how are we gonna do that we are going to do it with using our item source which is local to binding list therefore we need to use remove and it is taking item tbl drugs so we are going to get that item with select equal to pr dot drug id is equal selected item dot yeah from this selected item i have to get selected item id so let's debug and see what is getting selected you see how do i utilize the debugging it is extremely useful features okay i have selected this item and then let's select the drug so the selected item is okay so i can simply get drug id with its uh, features okay, so what we are going to do is simply convert this 
dynamically to tibia drugs okay now it, the values will appear selected item without drug id and remove okay so why it didn't work we have a set maybe we need to where and i need to get first or default okay let's try if nothing is selected this may cause unexpected error so we should also check that as well and let's see okay refresh list let's click okay no error let's click okay it is deleted and when it is deleted you see it is deleted here but not save it yet because when i refresh the list i will see it when i delete and save and now it is sa saved okay it is working as expected everything is working so for example when i delete it but not save it it is not deleted at the database yet so when i save the drug updates then it is deleted okay everything is working i think this was also a great solution however still we have an extra column here so let's also find why do we have a have an extra column let's add another drug drug 5 save refresh yes and let's see where this extra column comes so we have four columns which are display index three so the third column is let's see what is the name header of the column okay drug name and the fourth one is let's see okay so it is not visible here therefore it must be related to auto filling let's find it okay auto generated uh, data grid displays additional column let's find the reason okay and uh, let's say to generate extra column let's okay someone has also asked it you see extra column here so what is the reason okay the extra column is actually unused space each of your column defines width value so once they get assigned it there is a space left over if you want to get the space make at least one of your columns okay star so it stretches hmm. okay so from programmatic view maybe we can change it after here okay for example let's see if we can make uh, the column with something bigger equal to or let's say to generate it with header okay and max width min width hmm. which one is we can set it data grid auto generated and uh, left over okay so here yeah and then we need to use columns i equal to data grid width but there is no auto size maybe this can work see this width new data grid length one okay let's try this maybe it will work so you see it says star therefore it will stretch to all space and i am setting that true for everything since we are doing an auto generated table uh, it is harder to achieve yes now it is gone and each column is set equally on my screen okay 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 great now it is working as we want let's add some message interface so that the user can know the results of their actions okay so i'm going to put a label here and the name also let's add some different layout what i mean is appearance for example ms cells okay and what kind of messages we can add okay we can add as content it will be available here okay drug screen content equal to actually let's add a private method method okay and okay changes change okay and we, we don't once a new record added how can we know it let's we need to add an event to do our local context perhaps how can we know it and no data grid we rows so i think we can do it with our local binding link and let's see okay fire an event when it's data changes no there is no events file or change only when you do save changes maybe we can bind an event to local such as uh, maybe at event okay there is collection change it yeah that may work that's an event you see events are differently displayed there is property change it there is property changing so we can use property change it or collection change it and let's see where, what is this property change it this is entity framework okay okay i think let's make it as uh, something like this let me show 
I will add an event class equal. It should automatically let us compare. See property change it top. I did double top and it has generated a local property change it event. I will name it as struggle property change it. Okay, and here what am I going to do is you have unsaved changes. You have unsaved changes. Or maybe we can check that with C okay so there is a good code here which is exactly what i need so what we are going to do is it is using context object state manager so it will be okay drug data object state manager why there is no it is not available maybe here there is object state manager or something similar maybe it is in local collection change it event hmm. okay i think we can use this event but maybe there is a better way change tracker okay yes there is change tracker and there is context and let's see what are there what options there are okay there is deleted changes detect changes yes has changes yes what kind of changes there are how can we know oh here context change tracker entries edit yes this is the way we want here what we are going to use is will be our context change tracker entries and here we are going to use entries edit count yeah it's not any but i think where and then we can use count okay so this will be you have you have a waiting to be saved in database okay you have a waiting x number of changes how many you have a waiting okay number of new entries number of new drugs to be saved in the database yes and we will continue okay it will be plus equal by the i think okay let's make it very simple it is not new uh, new drugs and then okay there is updated modified yeah it is added this is modified and it will be modified new say yeah new modified deleted and this will be deleted okay drugs will be it to be saved so we will just push this and let's see if it will work so we are getting the state but this is getting the entire state i wonder if we can get the state of only tbl drugs so let's try it if there is change tracker for tbl drug drugs maybe local no so maybe here the rush and e dot entity there's collections hmm, entity equal equal can we use this oh this should work yeah we don't need this because this drugs data is only available to this screen therefore we don't need to make a change because we are using this only for drugs table okay therefore we don't need to filter certain table to be changed or not we can get entire okay refresh and see okay okay our event is not fired and therefore this is not the event we wanted so what we want is probably okay collection change event and yeah top okay let's see if it is using the same yeah we will use this one so we don't need this event probably let's delete it and retry if this doesn't work i will try another way okay this is not firing as well so probably we need to bind an event to our data grid let's say let's check the which events there are there is adding new item event beginning edit event cell edit ending event column display index change it event okay used to there are so many events context menu opening copying row current cell change it data context change it yeah maybe this should work i don't know we will test it out so let's test it data context change it okay and no not okay let's change it as cell edit or row edit ending cell edit ending maybe this let's remove these ones so we won't have unrelated but this would occur only cell edit and while cell editing okay there is cell value change at event yeah there is cell edit ending let's try cell edit ending maybe it will work better okay zero new modified zero. oh this is not updated interesting we have okay it shows modified one 
but it didn't show at the first let's refresh it shows zero so i know i think the reason the reason is we have to call this after cell edit ended not ending so how can we do it data context change it maybe this would work better yeah and we also need to make this a bigger size here data change it here and yes make a little bit bigger let's try fresh okay and not that one cell value change it why there is no cell value change it collection change it perhaps no like data context current cell selected cells change it selection change it size change it current cell change it maybe this is the way yeah we are looking for a way to this is about an event being fired after certain things what we want is we want to fire an event after our local context is updated maybe there is even a better way let's see uh, data grid item source change it event yeah this would be even better one yeah let's see if there is such event on item change it. okay now working let's add a new drug as okay five and drug seven okay there is nothing when i click somewhere else okay one new one modified yes it is now working let's also delete for example okay, it shows two new because it has a value here i will delete this okay one new one modified zero deleted okay so the, this one is gone why Oh, because we delete all the selected ones. Okay, let's save. Okay, changes, update, delete are saved at the database. Nice. Let's refresh. Okay, it's here. Let's delete this. Now we have one deleted. Okay, after the delete event, our method is not being fired. Therefore, we need to fire it. We can do it with simply like this. Okay, I will just send null and null. Okay, now it will show us. You see, you can simply solve every problem that you encounter with some logical approach, research, and thinking. Okay, so after deleted, okay, you see deleted one drugs to be saved in database. You can show any message any way you want. Okay, so let's uh, disable by default the top of our drugs top, and it will be only available when a doctor uh, user is logged in i think i will uh, leave it to next lecture because we are already at about two hours so let's add our today's notes here okay lecture contact enable doc stop only when a doctor okay, authority logged in okay i think it is enough this week we have done a lot of research to solve some of the things that are not possible it is a part of programming normally i would also ask stack overflow to learn if it is possible or not i will show you my stack overflow account by the way so you should also ask your questions in on stack overflow if you can't find so my account is let me show you it is almost has the moderator rights you see i have 491 questions i have reached 3.3 million people i have got 20k reputation you see yeah i probably have enough moderator tools as well i have been member of stack overflow since 11 years you see so i am at the top overall two percent uh, you should also ask your questions by the time you will uh, learn how to ask questions on stack overflow yeah you should also register you see my id is 300k probably they have now millions of users let's see so i was one of the first ones who registered stack overflow let's see how many members they have they have i think we can find it with looking the recent queries okay oh this is my results so i will just delete this and yeah for example let's see if this is a new user yeah let's check its id here you see the id is 12 million so we can assume that oh this is a one year member so we should look at new member who is not even a year okay this is two months member and id is 15 million so stack overflow has now over 15 million registered programmers okay so this is a two days member you see 15 million and 600 so you should also register stack overflow and ask questions that you cannot find answer but before asking question you have to search a lot thoroughly 
and make sure that there is no answer for that question also take your time and ask your question with details they like to have you have a specific question and the question shouldn't be broad shouldn't be uh, unclear sometimes you will encounter with members that they will say your answer is not clear or your answer is too broad those answering people usually don't know the answer don't know your question you can just ignore them however if you encounter with a person that knows the answer of your question they will answer it. but this is valid only after you have done your research and ask it your question with details okay okay all right by the way all these codes are link you so we are basically using link you queries and they are being translated to database queries so this is simply where this is simply a data name variable name you can define anything for this for example you can you can set any name as variable name you want and you also of course have to use it like this so it is totally fine this is how the link you works over the time you will get used to it here we are directly assigning it to label content because we are not working with threads or tasks at the moment if we were working with tasks i would have to use dispatcher to set this before closing let's add more records and see how beautifully they are being displayed on the screen and see okay refresh drugs list and let's add something some tests okay when i hit enter it will still work okay you see four new zero modified let's modify something you see one modified let's delete okay one deleted and when i save they will be all save it i am saving okay change this update delete add are save it and i refresh you see new ids and they are all selected i can also delete multiple selected ones uh, currently it is deleting only one but we can do it with something like this let me see there is selected item do we have selected items yeah so our selected item if selected item is not known i think we can now do it like this for each selected items and of course we have to convert it to tbl drag or we can convert it like this so it will be in selected item here where we are selected equal to tbl drag okay item and now we will use it oh, not okay and oh i have to remove this yes and then i will be just using this okay so this should work let's try it so now we can we allow multiple selected item to be deleted at once it's a nice addition you see the design programming methodology everything is totally up to you let's select multiple items delete okay there is one collection was modified i see so since this is a, an i list it's a reference type therefore we are assigning its reference here and they are getting modified to, so i have to convert this into a list and how can i do that okay so okay i need to set it here now we should work see but it may not work as well i'm not sure so if it doesn't work we have to find another way we need to copy it let's try fresh okay still collection was modified therefore we have to get this into a list okay there is no list so maybe we can find something else hmm. okay there is copy to copies the elements of system collections i collection to an array okay so it uses void and since this is like i list let's use it so this is type of not windows car controls primitive selected item so let's see okay there is cast oh i see so this is even a, even a better way and so what we are going to do is to we are going to cast it to tbl drugs and then we can cast it to a list and now we don't even need this we are struck and then it will be much easier for us okay so you see cast can be used for a lot of things a better definition fresh yes you see now working okay you see there is always solution all you need to do is know how to search okay end of lecture 8 hopefully see you next week